Okay, so before you watch the rest of the video, I can't believe I have to fucking say it, okay? Listen, I made it 100% crystal clear, crispy, clean, clear that I think Anthony Hopkins is a fantastic actor, one of a kind, legendary, okay? I did not at once say that he does not deserve the award or that he is bad. I did not say that. In fact, I am thinking the exact opposite. So, for the previous video where I react to the best actor award, maybe it's because of my word choices or my facial expressions or my physical, physio, social fucking cues that you would have the precon preconception, assumption, and the notion that I think Anthony Hopkins did not deserve the award is totally 100% wrong, okay? I am shocked purely because of the fact that in the past award shows in this award season, Chadwick Boseman has been winning a lot of the Best Actor awards. So it would be very natural and incredibly objective of me to think that Chadwick Boseman would win this award. In fact, I think that all five of the actors nominated are all great and I think they all deserve the award. They all deserve the nomination, okay? I do not think Anthony Hopkins is bad. I did not once say that. In fact, I think he really, really, really deserves this award, okay? So stop twisting my words and twisting my facial expressions and making me like the biggest idiot of the century by saying that I think Anthony Hopkins did not deserve the award when in fact I do. So please leave me alone and, and don't make me look like a fucking idiot, okay? I need to fucking say this one more fucking time. Just calm your asses down, okay? All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's sunlight. It is 7.30 a.m. in the morning. I only slept for about three and a half hours. Um, I am really sleep deprived, really tired. And I'm going to be watching the Oscars this morning. Yay. So it is uh, Oscars 2021. And um, the biggest TV channel in Hong Kong is not playing it for political reasons, of course. So uh, I found some other ways to watch it. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, I'm still able to watch it. Yay. Yes, it worked. It worked. Oh, where's the... Oh, oh, here you. Yes, it worked. Yes. Yay. The biggest TV channel in Hong Kong ain't gon' shit on me. She's gonna win Best Director. The ceremony hasn't even begun. Why are they performing? Okay, so uh, I can't watch it. I can't watch the Oscars. Never mind. Goodbye. Thanks for watching. We're back. Dude, isn't the black beside? Oh, come on. Uh -huh, why? Uh -huh. Why? What? She's British? Father. What? The father, the father. Oh yes, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Yes. Favorite movie of 2020. From Hong Kong, Better Days, directed by Derek Orkshan Sang. Hmm. Yay! Yay! <laughs> 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 what 
notice this angle. And the Oscar goes to Daniel Kaluuya. Yay! Yay! Thank you so much for pouring into me. Brian Cranston. Jesse, we need to fast. It's Ramadan. Bong Joon Ho. Bong Joon Ho. Sharon Che. This will probably be the only award that Judas is winning. Hopefully that's not the case. I forgot Daniel Kaluuya, but other than Daniel Kaluuya, this will probably be the only one. He's so uncomfortable. Uh. Why? What the hell? They're already presenting Best Picture? The actor and actress's awards are not finished yet. What? Rooting for this one though. I'm rooting for this one. Judas and the Black Messiah. Nomadland's gonna win, but you know. Yep. I knew it. I knew it. Nomadland's gonna win. Uh. All right. 
I'm gonna... <laughs> Congratulations to Nomad Land, but I still root for Judas and the Black Messiah, okay? She just howled like a wolf. Again, totally not surprised. Nomad Land is, you know. <laughs> Oh, what? What? No. What? Chadwick Boseman didn't win? There's no way. The Oscars did not just pull this off. No way. No fucking. Oh my god. What? What? What are you doing? What? To be fair, I think both Chadwick Boseman and Anthony Hopkins' performances are amazing. Just as amazing as Riz Ahmed's performance, uh, but I totally expected the Oscars to give it to Chadwick Boseman, and and every single award in existence in 2021 also gave it to Chadwick Boseman, and they decided to give it to Anthony Hopkins this year, which is absolutely shocking. I don't know if I should feel good or bad about this because he's a great actor, uh, but oh no, oh my goodness, beans, beans, beans. So, uh, yeah, the Oscars just ended about 20 minutes ago, and I'm sleep-deprived. It is 11.35 a.m. in the morning in Hong Kong, and uh, let's talk about the Oscars this year, which is uh, exceptionally boring, as expected. The Oscars are getting more and more boring every single year. Also, given that, you know, the pandemic and the social distancing, they're isn't a lot of fun to be had in the Oscars, that's to be expected. They're also not going to do it in the Dolby theaters. Anyways, um, let's go through the rundown of what happened at the Oscars. So we have Regina King opening the Oscars, and immediately the first two awards are screenplay awards, which is very unexpected. The original screenplay went to Promising Young Woman, which is totally expected. Uh, even though I really rooted for Judas and the Black Messiah and then best adapted screenplay I thought they're gonna give it to Nomadland No, they give it to the father But best but Nomadland won best picture, but it didn't win best screenplay Which is really weird because usually best picture has to win a best screenplay award So this is pretty weird best international feature Druck, uh, uh, Druck Another round by Thomas Winterberg that uh yeah anyways another round amazing movie i love it totally deserves it best supporting actor went to daniel kaluuya uh as expected i don't know why but is daniel kaluuya like drunk or high or both during the speech uh but you know i understand why i mean the best makeup and hairstyling went to Marini's Black Bottom, and the best costume design also went to Marini's Black Bottom, as expected. Then we have Brian Cranston presenting the Humanitarian Awards. Then, immediately afterwards, <laughs> this is really weird. This is the seventh award presented in the night, and they already present Best Directing? What? So Best Director went to Chloe Zhao. Very expected. You know, uh, presenter is Pung Chun Ho and the interpreter Sharon Che, and uh, I'm really happy seeing them both. Next up, we have best sound, and of course, it is Sound of Metal. Then we have best live action short, which is Two Distant Strangers, and I haven't seen any of these live action shorts. I know I'm a pleb, but um, yeah, whatever. Two Distant Strangers. Best animated short is If Anything Happens, I Love You. Best Animated Feature went to Soul, as expected. Best Documentary Short, um, I know that they're not going to give it to Do Not Split because it's it's too controversial. 
but uh, a lot of people are like oh they're gonna give it to uh, the uh, con concerto but actually they give it to Colette which is a little unexpected but okay best documentary feature went to my octopus teacher at this point on this is when the Oscars started to get a bit weird see best documentary okay okay hold on hold on collective is nominated for best documentary feature and international feature which is really really rare so normally you would think collective would win but no collective did not win instead the Oscars decided to give this award to this really weird octopus under the sea like natural footage which is very creepy and strange instead of something that's actually really intense entertaining and most importantly educational like collective so this is this is just weird it's whack best visual effects went to Tenet thankfully best supporting actress as predicted went to Yoon Hyo Jung in uh, Yoon Hyo Jung, Jung Yoon Hyo Jung in uh, for Minari and she gave a really sweet speech which is really nice best production design went to Mank and best cinematography also went to Mank which is really unexpected I was like yep totally 100% nomad land but no they gave it to Mank Best editing went to Sound of Metal, which is uh, very delightful. I'm really happy that the Trial of the Chicago 7 did not win a single award. And they gave it to Sound of Metal, which is a great choice. Then, Viola Davis presents a Humanitarian Award to Tyler Perry. Then, we have Best Original Score, which of course went to Soul, with Trent Reznor, Atticus Ross, and John Batiste. Best Original Song, I honestly didn't know which song that I'm going to root for. Uh, but after listening to um, the, the songs, my favorite one is uh, Fight For You by H.E.R. or her, and she did win. So shout out to H.E.R. Totally deserved. I actually really, I think this song really fits the movie. And then afterwards, we have uh, the only time in the entire Oscar ceremony that just happened where people had fun. Fun. Where Questlove, uh, where we essentially have Questlove's Oscar song trivia, and it was really short and it was actually kind of cringy. Um, yeah, and then afterwards we have In Memoriam, and um, yeah, the song is a little uplifting, <laughs> which is a little weird, but uh, it's whatever. Um, yeah. I know MF Doom and, and DMX aren't really actors, but I was like, man, you know, you know, you better put them on there, but, but they didn't, so it's whatever. All right, now here's when things took a really strange turn, when they decided to present Best Picture, before they even presented actors and actresses in a leading role, which is really weird, and I don't think, I, I, I'm not sure if it has happened before, but... Um, as I've seen, I haven't seen it, you know? I've started watching the Oscars since 2014, and never have I ever seen Best Picture being announced before the leading actors and actresses. So Best Picture went to Nomadland. And, um, yeah, I was, I, I was totally expecting Nomadland, but part of me, like 10% of me, was thinking, oh, maybe the Oscars are going to pull off something crazy. You know, you never know. The Oscars are pretty unpredictable nowadays. Uh, a little bit unpredictable. But no, they went to Nomadland. And it's, yeah. I mean, Nomadland is, uh, in my opinion, kind of overrated. It's not a bad movie at all. It's really well shot. But uh, it's just, eh. You know, not as good as Judas and the Black Messiah. Or The Father. Or Sound of Metal. You know. Or Minari. I also really like Minari. And then we have Best Leading Actress, and it went to... Okay, this is where it starts getting crazy. I thought they are going to give it to Carey Mulligan, even though I'm not 100% sure. But it went to Frances McDormand, which is also, I mean, pretty well-deserved. Frances McDormand's performance in Nomadland is amazing. But yeah. It's... And then we have the final 
award of the night and the way they arranged it having best leading actor as the final award you think oh they're gonna give it to Chadwick Boseman and have this be the ultimate grand epic happy ending for the Oscars and up until at the very end when Joaquin Phoenix presented the award it went to Anthony Hopkins <laughs> Which, I mean, she, he deserves the award. I mean, he is amazing in The Father. Uh, but so is Chadwick Boseman. And, uh, yeah, I mean... It's shocking, because award shows love doing this, where after someone passes away, they have they have to give give the awards to the person who passed away. and And that doesn't mean that the person who passed away is actually not as good as the award the thing that he deserves he or she deserves for the award but like how after David Bowie has passed away the Grammys decided to give a bunch of Oscar, uh, bunch of Grammys to David Bowie uh, when back in the days back when uh, Ziggy Stardust was released it didn't really get a lot of attention and then there's, uh, of course, Heath Ledger's Joker, one of the most well-deserved Oscar, in my opinion, but they have to give it to him. Uh, but, uh, yeah, Antigone Hopkins in The Father. Well, well, well. Well, well, well. Uh, I'm just going to leave it at that. This is the shortest Oscar ever, and also the most boring one. And I, um, I kind of want to go back to sleep, you know. I, I really and tired and sleepy so i'm just gonna end it here the oscars 2021 kind of weird crazy plot twist at the end and um yeah thanks for watching it's just my opinion leave me alone please <laughs>